guys, we have a very special commentary today. I will be reviewing the ACWR, but before we even get into anything, I just want to say I tweaked the color settings just a tad. If it's too saturated, if the colors are just way too intense, let me know and I'll tone it back. If it's not even noticeable, then let me know, because I really want to be bringing you the highest quality the highest graphical experience you can possibly watch even on the xbox 360 so you should see some improvement it should be pretty noticeable if it's not then whatever but again let me know in the comments how the video quality is and i can tweak things i can tweak everything i have like you know the best capture card you can imagine so i should be able to have like really good quality so if it's not good enough let me know so i can fix it with that being said let's break this gun down mofos now a few of you guys keep suggesting simthic to review stats and i think the last person to do that which really broke me in was i think his name was iso it was, it was a really long name but props to you man i responded to you in the comment section thank you i really appreciate it simthic is awesome in terms of statistics however it does not change the fact that i feel about guns how i feel about guns the way i feel is the way i feel you can give me the craziest in-depth comparison between two guns i don't care so i you know a good example is the aku 12 even in burst fire mode it shoots at a thousand rpm which i've figured out thank you guys for telling me it doesn't change the fact that i really just don't like the gun i just don't like the aku 12 for whatever reason it's just not effective to me now for you guys it may be perfect it may be the best gun in the world and you know what that's great in fact i encourage you to use it and then go against me in the battlefield no pun intended and then just destroy my face and then convince me that it's that good but until that happens until i see everyone running around with that gun i'm just not going to use it now with that said the acwr has a huge fire rate not as fast as a thousand but it has 880 rpm i don't think it really compares to any carbine whatsoever so it shoots incredibly fast in terms of play style i recommend someone who likes to be in people's faces who has fps experience so if you're going to use the acwr i recommend that you have the experience needed to use it not a battlefield player but someone who's just used to competitive shooters battlefield halo call of duty just to name a few those are the big three really even gears of war would suffice for this just because the recoil is so intense and the gun shoots so fast that you really will lose all of your ammo and you need to be incredibly accurate with this gun also it's not incredibly effective at super long range unless you're very good at controlling recoil so this gun should have a warning sign on it that says veterans only now that isn't to say that you shouldn't use it I'm just saying that you want to know what you're doing. This is for people that like to run around and be crazy and have really good reflexes and can just bang it out with the best of them. But if you can't control the recoil and you like to run around the map and you like to be aggressive and you're still trying to get the hang of Battlefield, my recommendation, or if you just like guns with lower recoil, my recommendation would be use a gun like the AK-5C. The AK-5C is like the ACR without steroids. It's just like it's it's such it just doesn't have any recoil and it's much easier to use has a little bit more range to it in my opinion. So, with that said, I really do think the ACR is beautiful. It's amazing. You got to be careful cuz you can waste your ammo very quickly, but it suits my style perfectly. You can see me using a suppressor. The only reason I'm really using a suppressor on this gun is simply because and I just actually put this on today really, but I really found that when you shoot the gun, it is so loud and so obnoxious that everyone, when you kill one person, everyone turns and is like, oh, hey, oh, hey, who's that? That's a really loud gun. Oh, let's go check it out. Let's go investigate. So I'd kill one or two people. And then because the reload time is somewhat long, I'm sitting here reloading my gun while I have a tidal wave of enemies advancing on me like, oh, hey, that's a really loud gun you got there. So I put on a suppressor. That way, I could can not just be sneaky, but they won't see me on the minimap, and I won't be as loud. You'll actually see, you know, I think you might have already saw it, but the clip where I come up behind a group of guys, and I just slaughter everybody. And it was like they didn't even know. If I didn't have a suppressor, no way that would have worked. I would have shot one bullet, and they all would have whipped around. Their eyes would have been bug-eyed wide open, be like, Get him! Kill him! Oh, he's shooting us! They would have freaked out. So, I didn't do that. Put on a suppressor, we're good to go. 
That is my recommendation for this gun. Also, if you're going to use Simthic, it's a very in-depth website. The most important stats that I found is look at the accuracy plots and look at... You'll see what I mean when I say accuracy plots. It gives you the accuracy of each attachment as you use it. So I found that the muzzle brake and the stubby grip are the most effective or using a suppressor. With that said, guys, I'm done. I'm out. Peace. Subscribe. Like all that good shit, motherfuckers.